slay every beast! You sniveling slaves. We'll rest here a while. <sighs> and you'll do it in silence! I don't like these rocks. They frighten me, Matty. I feel like we're being surrounded by some evil force. Then we'll be rid of these miserable slaves. Do you hear that? What's going to happen to us? It's all right, Tess. Mm. I'll do everything I can to get us out of this. I will not fail us. Those who cross and live to tell see the badger and the bell. That must be the gorge we crossed. But the badger and the bell... Hmm. <gasps> eh? What was that? Death, destruction, and darkness. Oh. Doom, I say. Doom! I am Matthias, the warrior of Redwall. And these are my friends. What is your name, sir? Evil stands on the path ahead. I wonder what could have happened to him. Here, for warmth. Funny-looking Duda, eh? What do you suppose it is? I have no idea. Let's hope it's good luck charm. We could use one. We're holding the rooks back, but we're just not reaching the magpies. The thieving, pilfering barbarians. How dare they steal our warrior's tapestry? Excuse me, I, ma'am. Why don't they use our tunnels? The tunnels? How? You could cover them through the main door. They might be expecting that. Yes. We can sneak round behind them. Winifred, Ambrose, Cornflower, and Formo, come with me. I always knew I could rely on you, Three Claws. <gasps> Some of the others, especially Halftail and Vich, need watching. Pretty soon I'll be gone for a day or two. I want you to keep an eye on them. I'll leave you in charge. Leave it to me, G. On the count of three, hit them with all we've got. One. Just lying here, Chief, uh, watching the captives. Good, good. Listen, mate, I'll have to take a short trip soon. I'll leave you in charge here, but don't say anything to the others. Keep an eye on Three Claws. He's been acting a bit big for his fur lately. I don't trust him. Don't think I haven't noticed it, Chief. Oh, I've never trusted him. And that's because you're like me, old fella. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> you acted courageously, my friends. Martin is certainly back among us. Is there a tunnel through to the gatehouse cottage? Are you, missus? Oh, you dug it myself. Splendid. 
Sister May, would you come with me tonight? I have an idea. Mendes, what do your vision see? Does your mind's eye tell you where these earth crawlers went? Help me here! Ah, my visions are still clouded, Lord. Ah! Oh, not the mouse warrior again. I see what I see. The mouse wearing armor blocks my visions and my thoughts. I cannot explain it. The mouse is only a picture upon a cloth. You have failed ah. me, Mangis. Sparrows, get them! Made it oh, back. Oh, 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 you're alive! Did you find Matthias? Are they all well? Where's Queen Warbeak? Quiet! Let them speak. Sparrows bring sad news. Queen Warbeak, she dead now. Oh. She died with all our other sparrows. Oh. We all help Matthias in battle. You found Matthias? He's alive? They travel south. They got a new friends with them. We give them riddle. For guide him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We too are in the midst of war. With General Ironbeak and the Rooks. They've taken over much of the Abbey and we are but a few. Sparrows here. Big birds speak. He very worry but a mouse. He say mouse dressed up a big warrior. I knew it. Martin is watching over us. Now I think my little scheme really will work. Hmm. Cornflower. I think you should tell us what this plan is before you go off and do things by yourself. Very well. Gather round. This is what I'm going to do. We really need to solve what the badger and the bell are in this riddle. When the sun goes down and we lose all light, we'll have to set up camp for the night. Jolly well right, old Hooter. We can't follow these dashed tracks in darkness, don't you know? And that bounder Slagar will get further ahead. Oh, huh? Well, shake me fluffy tail if it ain't the bally badger and the blooming bell. Right, get a bearing on, Basil. We'll make the rocks by dawn. Uh, yeah. Are you a sign of bird bags, missus? We ain't been safe enough. Let him get it out and he try it on for size. Then he can see if you're in plan will work, ma'am. Listen, bitch. But Slago, I, I haven't done anything wrong. I've been... Quiet, bitch. Keep your voice down. Now, pretty shortly, I'll be taking the slaves away from here. And I want you to come with me. Ooh, uh, where are we taking them, Chief? I can't say much now. I don't want those traitors to hear. Just be ready. You can count on me, Chief. Mm. Oi, Mouse! Thought I'd tell ya. Me and the Chief, we got something really nasty lined up for you. I really don't think you're going to like this plan we invented. Whoa! Hold your tongue, bitch, and do as I say. <laughs> Right, bitch. You're going to help me and my friends get out of here. Don't worry. They're friends. <laughs> of me and Slagar. Does that make you feel better? How about this? You're doomed. You and all your friends. Doomed. Escape, Chief. Didn't take me long to catch him. We've got some visitors you might be interested in. Oh, oh Mertie, I feel that evil.
evil force even stronger now. Ah! <laughs> I hate guard duty. It's so cold and boring. What was that? Look, something's moving down there. Death comes if you stay. Yeah! <laughs> A ghost! Death, it said. Death, save us! It was a mouse, just like the warrior on the big cloth, except this one had no face! Ah, it was dressed in armor, and it pointed its big sword at us. Ah! Ah! There is no ghost. It's all a figment of Mandy's imagination. And now he's got you all believing it. This is all your doing, Crow. You and your stupid, clouded visions! Ah! 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 You have come again for the slaves. I was waiting for you, Nadaz. Don't panic. Just go where they tell you. <laughs> I think your plan worked remarkably well, Cornflower. They were scared out of their feathers. <laughs> Constance deserves credit for the voice. Cornflower, the warrior is coming to haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Did you hear that, Grubclaw? Don't you start that again, or we'll get into more trouble. Now go to sleep. Sleekers killed Damper! Rubbish! Slagar wouldn't kill one of his own? What do you know about what Slagar would or would not do? He doesn't even like you. Ha! <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, he put me in charge. <sighs> Slagar left you in charge? He would have left a weasel in charge, wouldn't he, mates? Yeah, look around, snot whiskers. Slager's gone, and he's taken all the slaves. I'd like to have that fox's gut at the end of this hook right now. Brave words from the scum of the earth. <sighs> it was Slagar. He made us do it. So you are with Slagar. Where is he? And more importantly, what has he done with the young ones? When we woke up this morning and they were all gone. Trouble is, the tracks stop here. We can't follow footsteps over rock. Face the Lord who points the way. Afternoon on summer's day. Well, whoever this lord is, he's not come out to show us anything yet. Let a chap with a touch of breeding have a try. Hello there! I say, lord old fella, Basil Stag here, here, don't you know? Listen, why don't you toddle out and point the way to me and my pals? Confounded bad form! You'd think the rotter would have the manners to answer a chap in need. Hey! What if the Lord isn't a person, but a thing, like a tree, or a rock? Hmm? Well, curl me whiskers. I think the young fella's got a point there. The badger and the bell were rocks, so why not the Lord, eh? What? Hmm? <laughs> Up here, ninnies! By Jove! What a splendid fellow! There he goes. Excellent, Cheek. Orlando, you stay here and watch those wretches. If that 
tree's not the Lord, then I don't know what is. It's the Lord, all right. There's no doubt in my mind. Well done, lad. Good work. Face the Lord who points the way, afternoon on summer's day. Good point, Cheek. We'd better get hiking. If we're not there by sunset, we'll have to wait a whole day for afternoon to come around again. This is Malkadis' kingdom. You will do well to hold your tongue. This is the city your slaves will help build for Valkaris. Who comes near Malkaris? It is Nadar's voice of the host, O Malkaris. King of the Deep, Lord of the Abyss, Defier of the Sun. The Fox Lager has returned with many creatures to work in your realm beneath the earth. Who is the other one? Well, maybe if you ask me later, I can tell you exactly what will happen. He is a young rat named Vich. The fox says that if it pleases you, he is a gift to serve in the ranks of the host. He is not born to the host. Our ways are not known to him. Chain him with the slaves. No! Save me! Don't let them do this to me! I was loyal to you! I served you well! Help me, Slager! Ask the fox what he wants of me. Malkaris, all-powerful one. Slager asks me to remind you of your promise when he brought you the last slaves. Promise? He claims the land you promised him, from the gorge to the south boundaries of your realm. Tell the masked one to be patient. When I have decided that his voice above ground will serve me well, then I will send for him. Listen, rat. Tell your master that I kept my side of the bargain. He promised me that land. Now you go and tell him I have a right to that territory. You don't tell me anything, Fox. You have no rights here. <gasps> Never dare to make demands upon Malkaris. Your audience is over. <sighs> we had a deal. This above and below ground. By the stripes, it's so big. By Jove. Well, what do we do, old stick? What does the riddle say now? It's the last four lines. Face the Lord who points the way. Afternoon on summer's day, death will open up its grave. Who goes there? None but the brave. Death? I don't much like the sound of that. We must be brave, young hero. It says so in the riddle. Trouble is, none of us know where to go from here. We're out of clues. And if we don't find the answer before sunset, we'll have to wait another 24 hours until the next afternoon. <gasps> Maybe the mad old rabbit was right. Maybe we are doomed. All of us. Doomed. Tess, are you there? Here, Matty. Hold my paw. Let's all hold pause, so we don't lose each other. I just thought I'd show you what the last bit of light you'll be seeing for a while. From now on, you'd better get used to the dark. You'll be spending the rest of your sniveling lives here. Your journey is over. <laughs>